Hi friends, what's so this is Dark here from 360 Leader. It's time to learn how to separate your browsing habits on Mac with Safari profiles. With the introduction of Mac OS Sonoma, Apple has added a new browsing feature for Safari called Profiles that's designed to help separate your browsing sessions into things like work, school, or personal. To be more precise, Apple has expanded on tab groups with a profile feature that is designed to let you separate your browsing for different use cases. That said, let's get started. First and foremost, open Safari on your Mac running Mac or Sonoma or later. Then click on the Safari menu at the upper left corner of the screen. After that, choose Settings in the drop-down menu. Then click on the Profile section. After that, click on the plus button to add a new profile. Then give your new profile a suitable name, symbol, and tab color. Then choose your settings for favorites, new windows, and new tabs. Then click on the Extensions tab. Then check the box next to any installed extensions you want to enable for the profile. After that, click on the red button to close the settings window and save your changes. And that's pretty much it. It's worth pointing out that when you create a new profile, your device will automatically generate a personal profile to differentiate other browsing sessions conducted outside of the profile you created. Both profiles and additional ones you create can be edited in the same section of Safari settings. You can also delete existing profiles if needed. Next up, it's time to learn how to switch between profiles in Safari on your Mac running Mac or Sonoma or later. To get it done, just open Safari on your Mac. After that, click on the Color Profile button and select New Profile window to start a new session in the chosen profile and that's about it. So that's how you can easily separate your browsing habits on your Mac with Safari profiles in Mac or Sonoma or later. Now that you know how this cool feature works, make the most of it to enhance your web browsing experience using Apple Safari on your Mac. If you found this video helpful, do like and share it and I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.